Oh yeah. All right, oh God. <laughs> you can tell, I've been crying. And sometimes it is very regretful that I'm a mother. <laughs> Enough about my problems. You're not my therapist. I don't pay you the big bucks to help me decipher my sorrows. So I did a haul. Shopping is fun when you are sad, don't you think? <laughs> it really helps most Americans, for sure. Yes, yeah, so I've been online shopping because it's super convenient. And I've been using ThreadUp because I don't want to contribute too much to the carbon footprint that I have already made a huge dent in. Instead, I've been using ThreadUp, which is a service that like sells thrifted or like used clothing so that it can have a second home. I am not sponsored by them either. God, life is hard. So let's just get started in the video because I don't even know. Actually, so then my first thing in the haul is kind of funny. Um, it's not from ThreadUp. <laughs> I am just the best at this, huh? <laughs> but um, it is this lovely dress from H&M. I love the, I think this is pleated, I don't know what this is called. Please correct me in the comments below. This is like a pleated collar. It's so cute. And then this material is so beautiful. It's like very sheer. And I feel like this reminds me of like a, a, a beautiful, luxurious sleepwear that people wore in like the 60s and the 50s, like moms would wear to feel comfortable at night to fall asleep because they don't get enough sleep. Yes, so I love this dress. I wear I wore it for New Year's because it's like a sparkly dress. I got it on New Year's Eve and yes, I did wear it the day after. And yes, I did not wash it before I wore it, but tis life. I don't know if it's just you or me, if you're a mom. Do you guys feel like you can't dress slutty anymore because you're a mom and like you're just like, you can't dress slutty? Like even though I would like to dress more like cute and flirty and kind of like borderline ho bag because ho is life. <laughs> I just feel like I also have to wear things like this that are really long, cover a lot of my skin and my body. I don't know. You guys tell me. Do you guys think moms can be sexy? You let me know. Yeah, but this is super cute. I loved it. I wore it with this little mini purse that is super ineffective. It doesn't do anything. I just wear it because it's kind of a belt as well. Oh, and some black heels. If you know anything about my fashion sense, I love like white dresses. I think white dresses are very flattering on people. You can wear it for winter, you can wear it for summer, you can wear it for spring. It's just a classic dress color. And um, yeah, I love white dresses, so I have like a ton of white stuff. I got H&M, again, it's not from Brent, so. And I'm feeling really bad about my carbon footprint prints in general because I just watched Don't Look Up, and oh my god, that just made me feel so awful and like worried about the entire world. And I was thinking like, what's the most effective way that I can contribute to help against global warming? So I think the most effective, most efficient, most like the best way I could help my world is to not have a second child. I mean, I was already on the fence about having a second child, but this is like really solidified. Like if I can help my child, my, my only child's future, I think the best thing for me to do is to not have a second child because that against all the other things you can do, you can like, you can, you can thrift, you can make your, your home more efficient. You can be a vegan, you can do all these things. But I think the best thing you could probably do is have less children. I'm not saying don't have any children. If you want to have children, I get that. Like you don't need 10 children, you know, but one's okay. One's cool or two is cool. I mean, I'm not like super anti-natalism, but I'm a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Next piece of clothing. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I wonder if this is even fun for you guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, this dress is super cute. It's this lavender dress and I got it on ThreadUp. Oh, it's Ann Taylor. I think a big pro for like shopping on ThreadUp is that you can find really nice brands. They're cataloged and like separated so that you can just search for the brands you like. So that's really effective, I think. When you're at Goodwill or like any thrift store, you really have to scan. You have to put in a lot of time and effort. I have a bad back. These are like 30 year old problems, maybe like older, but like I have a really bad back. And I sometimes feel like when I go to Goodwill that it's too much on my back <laughs> to go shopping. It's just so taxing. So yes, 
I kind of prefer to shop online sometimes because it's just better for my physical health. <laughs> Let me know about your back issues. <laughs> but this is super cute. I wear this. I wore this with some sneakers. I know, I think Ashley says just suppose so much that I know what the word means now. I don't know if anyone else is like me. I don't have the best vocabulary. I'm kind of dyslexic too, so words are like uh, an uphill battle for me. <laughs> I sound like such a dumb SoCal girl. <laughs> I am a little bit. Anyways, yeah, so this is a really cute dress. I just supposed it with some white sneakers and a little cute mini purse. I just feel like mini purses are gonna go out of fashion really quickly, so I just want to use it as much as I can in my outfits until they do eventually go out of style, because they will, because they're awful. <laughs> but they're so cute. <laughs> Love the backing on this too, it's super adorable, and it shows off my tattoo, and then I love the front. The front is probably my favorite part of this dress. I think an another issue with me is that with Retta, is that you only get a 14 day return window and also you don't get back all of your money. Like there's a $1.99 fee for each item that you return and when you get back your money, it's less money than that $1.99. Some of these items I'm thinking of keeping because I'll lose like 10 bucks if I don't keep it. It's kind of annoying. But it's super cute and I thought it was a great try. Like I've been saying before, I buy things that are really long and don't show off my body that much because I'm really like, I don't know, I don't think moms can be sexy. I don't know if this is a, a real thing, but I just don't feel like comfortable being super sexy. I liked this long dress. It's a black dress, it's very plain. I could put a belt around it, but I liked it because it was so long that like it looks like I'm really tall anyways. So in ThreadUp, you only have like a couple of photos that you can base your purchase off of and I think that was kind of a bummer because I didn't know there was a slit so there's a long slit in this dress though I actually like this dress more because there is a slit so that was kind of a nice surprise but you know you don't always want to be surprised you know like surprise sex would be rape you know so that was a terrible joke I, I don't even know but um Actually, no, it's not. Surprise sex is rape, okay, guys? Don't rape people. <laughs> was a nice surprise, but usually when you make a purchase, you don't want to really be surprised, so it's kind of annoying that I didn't know what it was going to look like, and that is kind of a risk when you buy stuff online, right? The issue is that you return it for a fee, and I feel like I'm risking something. Usually with, like, in, like, private industries, yes, they suck, but they are really good at service right so then they they re you can return things for free you can try them on you can buy them online and you can try them on and then you can return it for free so it's kind of a bummer with right up but pros and cons I'm trying to save the world so it's okay <laughs> it's just a couple bucks I can make it back with all the hard work I do as a youtuber <laughs> making no money <laughs> Oh, life. Oh, I'm wearing it with my white sneakers. I love these sneakers so much. I literally wear them in almost everything. It goes with almost every outfit, and it's nice to just feel casual or like stick on sneakers to feel casual. I like, I kind of like that about the Zenio fashion, this era of like fashion that you can like just sneak up, just like add sneakers to your outfit, and then bam, you just look more casual because sometimes you don't want to look so like overdone and whatever, and I, I like that. So that was good on you guys, Daniels, for making that up. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, I love this dress. Now that I'm a mom, you lose your body. But then like my boobs are like super tiny now. They're like the tiniest tits you'll ever find. Seriously, it is so small. <laughs> but that's okay. You just gotta love your new body, right? Yeah, I need to buy like new bras and stuff and you used to look a certain way, so now you have a different wardrobe because, or like you have to kind of check out your wardrobe if you look different after you're giving birth. It's a whole mess. But anyways, I love this dress. I got this on ThreadUp as well. I don't know this brand, Augustin, Augustin, whatever. It's a size two. August, August, August day. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it has this. It's like a, a a wrap dress, and then it has these flare pleatedness pleated stuff on the bottom. I think it's a cute spring dress. I definitely would wear it really often in the summer. It's it's just really flirty and like it's cute and girly and I don't fucking know any other vocabulary. Hurts. I wore this with some. 
fat ass sneakers. They are um, my Fila, Fila's white sneakers. I love those, they're huge. I actually got a size too big, it was like a size nine. They were really a pretty affordable. Like usually when I buy sneakers that are like brand name, they would be more expensive, but they were like 40 bucks, it was not bad. But you could totally wear them with this beautiful spring dress and it just looks so cute together, you know? Like again, like you can just downplay an outfit just by wearing sneakers. I love that. That's a great idea, Xenios. Good job, good job. Yeah, what's next? I mean, good time. Ooh, I got some shoes for you guys. And they don't fit me, which is a bummer because these are not refundable. See, con for thread up. But um, yeah, I got these. But um, if there's any college kids watching, but um, 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 but um. These are called keys. They're so cute. Don't they look so cute? These are supposed to be a size eight. Okay, I'm a size eight. Oh, look at that foot. Isn't that beautiful? Um, let me try to put one on, and I'll show you that they do not fit. Well, first of all, it jams at the, my widest part of my foot. Like, I never really thought of my feet being fat. Oh, fuck. This does not make me my feet feel skinny, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I guess it kind of fits. You just have to jam your foot into it. Yay for that. But it barely fits. I think, like, this is really a seven and a half. I can't imagine this being an eight. Oh, God. Right, guys? My feet. My feet. I'm weird. <laughs> I should have an OnlyFans account. My husband, he's like my, my best supporter because he and my best friend, they're just all fucked up. If you know, they think I should have an OnlyFans account. If you know anything about OnlyFans, I live under a rock, so I did not know what an OnlyFans account was. But it basically is a, I don't know if it's an app or a website, but you basically only have fans that pay for your videos or, or watch you stream stuff. I don't know, I don't exactly know. It used to be just like watching people stream and then they hit your fans pay for watching you stream. And then it became really sexual. Like, like I think hot women like take off their clothes or something. And then my husband was saying that I should have a feet page. And I was saying that it should be called only feet. Doesn't that, doesn't that sound amazing? Only feet. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Probably not, huh? I don't know. I don't think that's a respectable career <laughs> choice. YouTube is much, much better. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, again, I don't make any money off of this. Anyways, so yes, this is a super cute sandal. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna make the same joke again in another video because I'm making a, a shoe collection video, so that would be fun. And I love talking about feet. Feet is funny. Anyways, I love these sandals. I'm gonna wear them a lot. They're gonna get a lot of wear and tear in the summers. And they're just so chic. You like them? They look good, huh? Ooh, I wore this with uh, white pants, a, a black tank top, which is also the next one. Cool transition, huh? <laughs> All right. Air. I always get stuck. Oh no! <laughs> Not my plant. It's alright. It's a fake plant. You can't die. Okay, so I got this tank top as well on ThreadUp. I like the idea that you can get a lot of things on ThreadUp by brand, and I think that was great because I actually got this. This is from, fuck the tank top for now. It's about the brand right now. People buy stuff for brands, not, not for the actual item. <laughs> this is from Anthropology. Okay, you can't really tell, but it's from Anthropology. Um, I got this for 28 bucks, and it was already on clearance on the tag <laughs> for 30 bucks. So I only got it for a couple dollars off. It's sales price, but actually, like original price was $58. This is the tank top that I bought that if I return it is, I only get like 22 bucks back. So you kind of lose money for just trying on a product. Yeah, so I'm not really sure if I love it. I love the the design, I do. I just think it's it's like it doesn't fit me well. And I think that's also a con on the thread up side that you can't try it on. But now at Goodwill you can't try it on either. At the mall you can try on anything. And if you're gonna be like saying that we can't try on clothing 
because of COVID, which is fair, you should do it at the mall as well, right? But no, apparently you can only not try on clothing for COVID at Goodwill and other thrift store related areas. So that's kind of a bummer. Yes, so this is super cute. I love the ruffle details on it. I think it's so adorable. Yeah, and again, I paired it with the shoes, the, the flip flops, the black flip flops, and the white pants. I think it's really cute. I'm really not sure if I want to keep it. I mean, again, I'd be losing money if I, if I returned it. I'm gonna have to sit on it. <laughs> I only have 14 days. I don't have a long time to sit on it either. I wore, oh, this is also from Anthropology. Yay. But it's definitely too big on me, so I probably won't keep it. It's kind of scandalous, actually. If you see my modeling clip, I kind of look like not a mom. <laughs> Which is kind of nice about Thread Up because then they actually um, ask you what your sizes are, typically. You basically shop your sizes and you don't look at any of the other clothing that don't fit you. So I think that was a really good idea. Pro on their end. So this is a tube top, but I don't think it fits me well unless I use like a push-up bra because I don't got any titties. So it doesn't really hold me where I need to be held, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and I'm in the modeling clip. I am wearing it without a, a bra. So I hope you guys don't see my uh, boobies. But if you do, I mean, I guess it's fine because, you know. If Rachel from Friends could do it, why can't I? <laughs> she made a lot of money off of her, her boobies. Isn't that the feminist take anyways that you can use your body however way you want? So I guess I shouldn't shit on the OnlyFans. Yes. Go get your money, girl. I wore this with the sneakers, um, the Fila sneakers, and some short shorts because I was going for like a SoCal like summer vibe, even though it's midwinter in California, which is only, it's only like 50 degrees. Or, oh my God, my cat is doing stuff to the mattress. I'll be right back. <laughs> You always want to get on top, don't you? Just want to get on top of it too much. Yeah, I love th this tube top. I really think it's kind of how is life. This hoe used to be all about life, but now this hoe is all about her baby. I think it, it has it's pretty good quality. Maybe I'll still keep it. <laughs> As long as I put, I wear like a bra, like a bombshell bra. Like I need like three pads <laughs> in my boobies. And then I could probably pull this off. Yes, moving on. I hope this was helpful. I hope this review of Fred Up uh, gave you some insight. Yeah, I hope this was insightful or at least not boring too much. <laughs> I can see that you guys enjoy my videos where I am putting on clothes. So I've decided to make more of those. But I'm pretty sure that you guys like the fact that I'm taking off clothes as well. So <laughs> I've decided to help you entertain that idea because I need viewers like you to <laughs> watch me take off my clothes. I really should start an OnlyFans account. I really don't know why I haven't. I could probably be pretty decent on it, but I don't want to do that. You know why I don't need to do that? My husband makes plenty of money, so I don't have to. You might say I'm a gold digger. I would say I am a gold digger. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video about how to date men with money. Let me know if you guys like that. <laughs> am I tired? No. I'm just making jokes that I don't think are fun. Anyways, I hope this was fun. I hope this was insightful. I hope this was helpful. If not, I'm glad you're watching anyways. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.